Watch the full length and uncut version of this reaction on our Patreon for a dollar pledge. The link to our Patreon is in the description. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the Cruise Brothers, Brothers React. React. Back for more Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, episode shit. 18, guys. Oh, shit. I didn't even know. Last episode was really good. I, I liked last episode a lot. Um, again, I want this anime to be it, bro. I want this anime to be like the best of the year type shit. The best of the season or whatever. Um, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. Why not? Come on, man. Now it's now with Attack on Titan out there. It's All right. Before. Well, best new anime, new newcomer. I guess you can give it that title. <laughs> But, but I yeah, don't know, let's get bro. into it, man. Shit. Oh my god. I'm not ready, bro. Oh, just what, what I fuck? wanted, man. Mag 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 um, Magumi. That's his name? Yeah. Fushiguro Magumi. The hell is this? The Matrix? Yo. It's, it's cool. We're getting, if you notice, we're getting all of them one by one. They're fighting such shit. Nah, he's not blind. Yes, he is, man. Look at him. He has his eyes closed. Bro, he's looking, bro. You just can't see it. This shit just started off crazy. What the hell? This curse. The love of the bloodline. They're all ready, bro. They already got their blood. Ten shadow technique. What the? Zenin clans. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. So he's from the Zenith clan. Yeah, that's crazy. God, damn. He must we get probably, better. We probably knew about that. Right? Ooh, holy fuck. He must get better treatment than that. Uh, bitch ass clan. He's the chosen one from the Xena clan, bro. Sakuna saw it. Oh shit, oh, yo. No. We didn't want him to open his eyes, bro. We didn't want that. He's too strong in that in that state. This guy probably has mad different techniques with that uh, ability. <clears throat> Can he control someone else's blood cells? The fuck? No, bro. I need control of his. Can it be like a? Uh, he's using it in different ways. Like he's talking crazy about type it. Of, type of power he's using. What the fuck? Makamaru, what did you do to her? Oh, to him? Oh wow! Mm -hmm. He got a hold of the phone. Damn, yo, that's crazy. Yeah. Literally through the phone, he was able to get her ass. <clears throat> His voice is weird. Oh shit, he don't fuck with fights the wrong next. one though. Let's see you fight your uh Now this looks like it's gonna be a weird ass. This guy's really out to kill Tadori, bro. He has a whole plan this fucking are, to make are, are, sure. So who who summoned this thing? <clears throat> Must have been the the bow and arrow guy, right? What? Is dead. That's not the one, bro. Yes, it was. Wait. Nah, motherfucker. What the fuck? Wait. That's one of the the main Chris spirits, bro. The one. He looks familiar. Him. Yeah, remember he's the one from the. What the fuck is he saying? What? The fuck is talking in a different language. Okay. You just think hand to hand combat. Why do you believe that? Bro, he's trying to become the best clan out there. He must behave as there to the... He's trying to eliminate a clan, that's it. He chose his own path, and not the Zenith way. He just told his, told his own conscience. Shit. What the hell is this? The Max, Max Elephant. elephant. What the fuck? Yo. This man got a new specialty. And it ain't easy to tame this one. Yo. Oh my god. Motherfucker, you surf. Yo. He couldn't Look stop that. it. That's mad water, bro. Mass pressure runs crazy. Now he's gonna bring out another one. In the open, new. Oh, oh 
Ooh. Yeah, he's he's got a curse for every scenario, bro. Yeah, we saw this, this man's, before, I think. This man's like yeah. a uh, uh, Pokemon trainer, bro. Shit. He's doing this for his mom. Oh. Nice. The Crimson Binding. Uh, what? What the fuck is happening, Chris? He just told it to run? Because he yeah. summoned some crazy shit, bro. Because that fucking... That wasn't him. That was the curse that he was fighting, probably. Bro, that was... Holy shit. These curses are on another level. They all burned out. What the fuck is... Something interrupted the thing, like you said. I think you said that. I told you, bro. That's dumb. The curses that we saw. Yeah, it's time for him to fight. Oh, shit. Now the instructors are coming out. Shigasu. Look at everyone running. This shit, bro. <laughs> they all gotta work together now. They're fighting each other. Shit got serious, bro. It's not a fucking game anymore. I think he's uh, creating his, uh, you know what that thing is called? I forgot what it's called. Domain expansion? Yeah. Could it be? This is like some other shit. It looks like a barrier that they used one that one time before. Yeah, it looks like some kind of barrier. But that shit has a piss orange bro, color to it. Gojo doesn't get in on time, it's over. A veal? Gojo's, so, Gojo's, Gojo's cheating, bro. bro. No, they didn't want him yeah, in it was, there. It was specifically designed to keep him out. <laughs> Yo, Gojo's so overpowered. They focused on keeping his ass out. That whole barrier. That whole barrier was just for him, bro. They can't even take the presents. Bro, special grades. They don't even know how many special grades are here. Oh, shit. Starting with this one. <laughs> he's not even the source of the presence. I know, so he's not this really skilled one. You can't ever expect what Seriously, people's powers are in this, this fucking, fucking show. This fucking show so random sometimes. <laughs> what the fuck? This motherfucking old ass man came out with a guitar. But the rock out with his... Well, that shit wasn't even plugged into an amp. How'd they hear it? Wait, which one? Oh, Couldn't have on. been the volcano guy. It was the guy with the volcano guy, the one that saved the volcano guy. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. Remember he lost his freaking arm. Yeah. Oh no! Oh uh -huh. yeah, yo! That voice shit is yo, cheating, shit. bro. Yo, but look how they're teaming up on them, bro. Ooh. And they still can't even hurt to him. To the head. Yo. This thing is eating every Bro, the attack they throw at him. the only one that has a chance is Megumi, but even then, look at him. How do you take a sword? Look. Remember the time when he uh, saw that other one and he froze? This is a chance to redeem himself. Curses have evolved. It's a tree hugger. It's a <laughs> Earth lover. That was trying to restore episode, it to its man. original form. That was a good cliffhanger. Holy shit, that was good. Damn, that was good. Just now I know why this show. Remember, remember when I told you the numbers are up on this shit? There's a reason, bro, because this shit is hot. It's definitely not a uh, low class anime. Yeah, this is some top tier shit, bro. Not top tier, but it's definitely not good. the uh, not the, the story, but the fucking animation and like the fighting, pretty yeah. good. Yeah, we already knew that. Even though I feel like the hand to hand combat was nothing special in my opinion, but everything else was pretty good. It was it was, it was fun. But I've seen them go crazy on the hand to hand combat, and this just that specifically wasn't 
too crazy, but yeah, man, that sh that whole fight in the beginning with Megumi and uh, the other guy, it was cool as hell just knowing that the other guy was from another clan and he wanted to pretty much, you know, just be the best clan at, at the end of the day. And uh, He was from the same clan as Maki and uh, Mai. No, he's not. What are you talking about? Wasn't he? No, he's... Uh, Megumi is from the same clan as Maki and Mai. The guy that he was fighting was from a clan called Camo Clan, Camo Clan or something like that. Um, and he was trying to pretty much... He was just like, I guess, trying to be the best clan he was trying to like inherit the best the title for the best clan type shit bro he's talking about um he wanted to get rid of his story for his own self uh his not his own selfish reasons but for his own reasons you know just to eliminate another clan and um stuff like that it, it was like it was it was something simple it was not the ending like you know crazy but it was just him wanting to have his clan uh on top pretty much is what his uh whole thing was but um yeah man the fight was pretty cool and his power is uh, pretty interesting too the way he was able to use it and and it was cool to know that the, his clan was like uh the special users of this power like this blood manipulation and all this cool things that he could do with it it's pretty cool um no yeah, that's if that's the case then they kind of glanced over his uh clan heritage yeah, bro. Like I told you, they all they said was his clan name and his uh, his blood heritage and how he was able to use that power, the blood manipulation. That's all they said. And then he was talking about how uh, Megumi's from the Zenith clan and he was gonna be better than them or he, they're washed up. And then Megumi was like, "Oh, I don't care about that clan. Don't don't put me against with them because Megumi pretty much does not associate with that clan and he went on his own way type shit." Um, he doesn't go by what the Zenith clan go by. He goes by what feels right to him. It's kind of what they were trying to, um, uh, you know, tell with Megumi's character there. So was he from the same clan or not? Yes, he's from the Zenith clan, but he doesn't associate with them. He's just, he kind of like, he left them just like, didn't somebody else leave them too? It was Maki. Yeah, Maki, yeah. It's just like she did. Like she dissociated herself with them. Like he pretty much did the but same thing. But they're two different clans, right? Like no, they're both from the same clan, Zenith clan. They, they, oh, oh, Maki, Mai, and and Megumi. Bro, earlier you just said that they weren't. I was, I was asking you. I said that the other guy wasn't the blood manipulation guy. He's from a different clan. He's from Camel Clan. I thought that's what you were talking about. He's from a different clan. The guy that was freaking with the eye and the arrows and the blood manipulation. Do you not know his whole story? That's the guy I was talking about. Anyway, but yeah, so that all happened and um. The freaking old man out here plotting his ass off and his his uh, failing at that. Yeah, it just went to waste because literally these guys came in and just created a whole fucking bigger problem. Yeah. So we got a lot of fights to look forward to next episode too. The old man's about to go in with that guy. Um, uh, who else is about to fight? Um, they're about to fight that cursed, the special grade curse. So. Yeah, there's a lot of shit yeah. happening. And then Gojo got locked out, too. That was crazy. So there's, like, even somebody that's stronger. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, it's a little basic, in my opinion, the whole setup. But it's yeah. definitely better than... Um, like I said, the story is, is very basic shonen type shit, you know? Like, this is something we've seen out of My Hero. This is something we've seen out of Naruto. I already predicted this was going to happen. Like, I told you, they were going to have the yeah. test. Something was going to happen. Interfere, blah, blah, blah. Like, all that yeah, stuff. Chris, Chris already predicted Come it. Come on, man. Like, I, it, it's obvious. But at the end of the day, like... It's entertaining, <laughs> you know. So come on, I guess. You can't but, say that shit ain't entertaining. Yeah, I don't know. I get, I definitely get um vibes from like my hero, like Academia, for example, when they were having that whole little training camp thing in the forest or whatever, and then they got interrupted by uh, League of Villains and shit. So, sort of a similar thing, so, yeah. sort of a similar feel. Yeah, well, I was just waiting for them to come back into the picture, like I said, because I felt like the other episodes that we saw, remember, like before when it was just about the kids and the the, the thing, remember how I was saying, oh, I want the main plot to come back because this right here is like whatever. But obviously yeah. they tied it into the main plot, but that's this coming. And also the, the, the bow guy was, um, you know, he was all right. I like his, I like his, his power. His power is interesting. Like he, he imbues his... Uh, his blood into certain items to um, manipulate them pretty much is what he could do. And his, also uses blood. His whole backstory just seems like his kind of is a mad, it, freaking vague and basic. Well, yeah, that. But it also feels like a carbon copy of what Maki and Mai had going on too. I get it. There's probably a lot of clans in the show, or whatever. Yeah, but I guess you know, just trying to be better than them. There's like each other. a lot of um, 
you know, talk about clans and devotion to clans, shit like that. So, you know, it didn't it didn't stand out from last episode, in my opinion. Um, especially, it, it was a watered down version of last episode's story with Maki and Mai, in my opinion. Um, but yeah. Well, I guess that there's impacted more just because they. I mean, I guess the clan thing was already. Um, it was a story I can get thing. attached to more than what this guy showed, at least. But uh, again, you know. Well, I mean, who he knows? Didn't have much backstory to him, and they got like a whole fucking two episodes or something. So, uh, yeah. Well, the 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 idea I get is that he wants to inherit his clan, something for his mother, or something like that. Um, there's something about his mother, you know. It's pretty much his his people, like his his um his family, like his name, yeah. the camel name, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I I just feel like it's very similar to uh, what my and this girl went through. But yeah, anyways. Yeah. I, I, but I feel like it for them, with them explaining their clan thing was more important. He's just a random clan that came in. I don't know where, just trying to you know make a name for himself. The Zenith clan is already known. And that the reason they they is told it called Zenith? I don't remember the names. Bro, that yes, doesn't sound right. Yes, bro. Zenith. Z E N I T H. I'm pretty sure that's how that is. Um, but uh, yeah. So they already um an established clan, and they're like they have like already like their name because we already know that from the Maki story in them, you know. Um, so it's interesting to know about them more, just because a lot of our main characters are from that clan. This guy is just a random guy with a random clan, you know. They're just trying to make a name for themselves. Zenith clan is the main one that we should know about. For now, anyway. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm just going off what Chris says. I don't know if any of what he said is 100% accurate, but if it's not, then know, man, correct I, it in the comments. You gotta watch the episode, man. Uh, but, yeah. I don't know. Something, it's hard to follow sometimes. They go fast in these episodes. But, um, yeah, man. Guys, again, thank you for watching good episode of jujutsu guys and uh make sure to comment like some like and subscribe let us know what you thought about this episode on a reaction to this episode down in the comments below if you want to support us directly you can do so by pledging a dollar on our patreon and you get these reactions earlier than youtube and in full length we'll see you in the next jujutsu kaisen reaction thanks for watching take care of yourselves as always and peace